up guys, it's Griffin and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experiences with the paranormal. I know I've touched base on this a little bit before, but I thought I would make an entire video dedicated to different stories or situations that I've been through because, I don't know, I think it's pretty interesting whether or not it's from this apartment exactly because I've definitely had a few here or just like my home back in Montana, anything along those lines. Um, so let's get into the video. So we'll start with the first story. I was living in a yellow house in Montana. I'll insert a picture of it right here. Our first indication should have been that it was right off the road graveyard drive or graveyard road, something along those lines. We built the house from bottom to top and it was a beautiful home. We were all in love with it. We were excited to move in. I was pretty little so I don't remember too much of it but I do remember all these stories and the situations that went down in that house. So first up, my parents are sitting on the couch and they feel something hit the back of their head like done, 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 done. And my mom's like, what the heck is that? And my dad's like, I don't know. And then they hear the laundry is done. So my dad goes downstairs and goes to the washer and dryer. On the washer is a little coin and the coin flies up and smacks him in the chest and he's like, um, ow, that hurt that was weird and he switches the laundry over and he goes back upstairs and as he's walking upstairs from like in the back of the couch like if this were the couch behind it there was a pile about like this tall of just like braces rubber bands and me my brother and sister we were all asleep and my parents were just watching a movie before going to bed and no one in the house had braces so they don't even know how that got there so that was just immediately weird then situations like my mom holding a cup and she was just like walking around the house with it and it would fly out of her hand and shatter on the ground and her hand was still in that form and she was like what her hand was in the form of holding the cup because it happened so fast that she didn't even know what was happening and it wasn't that she dropped it it was just that it flew out of her hand and shattered and another story about cups is we were all singing happy birthday to my brother and I don't know how old he was turning maybe eight nine we finished the song and everyone's cup at the same exact time shatters and I was like oh like because when people sing if they hit that high note then that means all the cups shatter but like that's a specific note and there's no way that all of our cups would have shattered like that because there are other glass cups in the kitchen just sitting on the counter that didn't shatter and the ones that did shatter were in hands and you also don't hit that note when you sing happy birthday when i was about three or four i was in my bedroom and i don't know if many of you guys know this but i do have a brother that passed away but i never met him because he was older than me and he passed away before i was born but his name was tristan and my parents really never told me about him until i was around 10 or 12 because they didn't want it to be like a part of my life and something that i thought about often because i was so young but i was in my room and all these toys were floating around me and my mom hears me talking to someone and she's like what the heck so she comes into my bedroom and she sees the toys floating and she's like griffin what are you doing? And I was like, Tristan, it's my time to play. And I got like so angry and all the toys dropped. And my mom like started crying and I had no idea what was happening or why she was crying. But it was because I told Tristan it was my time to play and she had never told me about Tristan. So it was overall just like a weird experience. And I had always said that the house was haunted, but my parents never really believed me. And we'd always seen things in the house. We, stuff had been moving, etc., etc. But um, my parents didn't believe me until we got someone to come to the house and check it out. And then they said that we had this like little emblem in the concrete in our basement and that was what the spirits were using to travel in and out of the house from the graveyard she told us that we could do two things we could either get like a jackhammer and like destroy it and put something over it, like do a different type of concrete or just like nothing over it really or we could move out so of course we were in the process of moving out of that house and since then no one has really lived in it for more than like two or three months it's always vacant and no one lives there right now with that same house um, we had situations prior to moving out where we would go back and I would show friends like I went back with my friend Emma and I drove past it I was like oh my gosh you have to see this house because I had told her all these stories so we're driving past it and we just take a few pictures on like our flip phones and we're like okay we'll like look at these pictures later and see if we recognize anything in them and we go back later to look at the pictures and we're zooming in on like windows and near the trees and everything and we zoom in on this one window on the side of the house I'll insert the picture here and there's a literal face in the window there's literally a screaming face in the window like how terrifying is that my mom had also had a similar situation where she went back to the house and no one was living there it was vacant like I said it's always vacant so she goes and she takes she's taking her mom to go look at the house and all the blinds are shut so then she walks up to the house and she's like shoot I can't even show you what the inside looks like because all the blinds are shut they're like start to walk back to the car my grandma's in front of my mom and my mom gets shoved over like you know when you get shoved and when you fall my mom got shoved like she felt someone push her back she falls to the ground 
ground and she scrapes her chin. She gets up and she's like, oh my God, I just got shoved. And she turns around and all the blinds are open. And then they were like, no way, we are not gonna go look in the house, we need to leave. So they left. And I honestly think that was the last time that we experienced anything with that house in particular. But I honestly think that things were like, things still follow me like spirits. And I know that sounds so insane and crazy, but um, I had went to a waterfall after moving out of that house. We went to like this waterfall and we had subway. We were just gonna sit near the waterfall and eat our subway and just like chill out. Cause this is in Montana. This is where like you drive 20 minutes and there's a waterfall and it's beautiful and it's fun. We get out of the car, we're getting ready to eat. I'm like, mom, what's that girl doing? And she's like, what girl? And I point to the top of the waterfall where literally no one could ever stand because they would fall off. And I was like, what is that girl doing up there? Like she's standing on top of the waterfall. And my mom's like, Griffin, like I don't see anyone. I don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, mom, she is right there. And so my parents were like, okay kids, like let's get in the car. We got home and my mom was looking into it and it's like this waterfall near Scalcohoe. If any of you live in Montana, then you know where that is. And my mom looked it up and a little girl had recently passed away. And she showed me this picture of this girl. And she's like, oh, look at this. Like I just came across this picture. And I was like, oh, that's the girl who was standing on top of the waterfall. And my mom was like, oh my gosh, we are never going back there again. And it was like terrifying. Now I'm going to get into more recent things. Um, as in more recent, I mean this apartment in particular. So I've been living in this apartment for two and a half, three months. And the first thing I recognized when I got here is when I went out on the patio, there's this side door and inside that it has like the water cooler and like all this different like electronic stuff. So I didn't really like touch it. Like that door has probably been shut for like, I don't know. I probably haven't opened it in like a month. But um, on that door, there were scratch marks. And I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. And then like a month into living here, people came around and they were checking to make sure everything was working with each apartment. So they went around to every single apartment, checked the fire alarms, checked everything. And on that door, they like painted over the scratch marks they were like oh weird and then after they painted over the scratch marks there was a literal imprint of a face which I don't have a picture of because I took white sage and I like pressed it against it like I burnt the white sage and pressed it against it because I was like uh-uh I don't mess with that on my wall over here I have these little geometric things that are stuck to the wall and the first time that this ever happened my friend Jessica was walking in between the couch and our coffee table but two of the pieces came flying off the wall and hit her and so we we're like oh my gosh are you okay we didn't really think anything of it I guess right before that we had just been telling her about how when Mikey was over he saw like a lint roller fly across the apartment and hit the wall and he was like and then later on like two days later Mikey and I were sitting on the couch and one of them flew across the room and then the next day we woke up and one of them was like across the couch and we're like how are these moving like this is what they are moving and now they haven't moved in about two to three days because we set out this like this formation of crystals that's supposed to keep spirits away so I'm just hoping for the best right now but it is pretty terrifying and also in this apartment I've had situations where I lock the balcony door and no one can even reach my balcony because it's four stories high and I leave the apartment and I come back or like Mikey gets here and the balcony door is wide open and the apartment is freezing it's so scary but I almost like am intrigued by paranormal activity and I've kind of been intrigued by it my entire life I've had small situations where like I think I've seen something like yesterday I literally thought I saw someone on top of a car those are mostly like the big big things that have happened but I think that is it for this video if you guys have any paranormal experiences I would love to hear about them because I'm just so honestly intrigued by them so leave a comment down below if you've had any and leave a comment down below if you believe in this stuff or not I obviously do believe in it because I've had so many experiences but I know some people don't really believe in it especially if they haven't had any experiences anyway that is it for today's video I hope you guys liked it if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe also make sure to check out all my social medias I will leave them linked down below and hopefully I will see you guys later Bye!